This is Norma Jean Clausen reporting live from Patterson Library, and today I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with Dr. Bill Greenwood and writer Patty Jo Savell. I understand that your book was recently awarded the Global Ebook Gold Medal. Could you tell us a little bit about your book, please? Well, it's called Be the Bridge, and it was published in January on Amazon, and in August it won a Global Gold Medal Award. So, how does one win a gold medal for a book? Well, you have to start with the right story, and that'd be Dr. Bill Greenwood. And you have to hire the right writer, and that would be Patty Jo Savelle. Patty Jo, please tell us how you knew that Dr. Greenwood had the right story. I knew he had the right story because we live in a very fractured world, and his story is all about bridging those gaps. What makes his story particularly compelling is that this isn't the philosophy of Dr. Bill Greenwood. This is his real-life story. So we not only tell his successes, but we also tell his fails. Bill? What made Patty Joe the right writer? Well, I hired Patty Joe because she's an award-winning investigative reporter, and she took my basket of memories and asked the tough questions. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? How did it make you feel? And then she was able to collect all of those stories into a readable manuscript that tells the narrative, warts and all. all right, you claim to know how to close the gaps in a divided world. Could you share an example, please? Well, let me answer that. So take, for instance, racial inequity. Bill grew up on his grandfather's farm where there was sharecropping, and Bill could see right away the injustice in sharecropping between the blacks and the whites. Now, he's just a kid, so he can't do anything about it at the time, but when he's a graduate student, so it's actually just before he marches in the Martin Luther King Parade, so 1966, Bill gets the bright idea to single-handedly integrate the public pool. Now, this is a public pool in Wake Forest, which is right near the state capitol in North Carolina. And how did that go, Bill? Well, it seemed to go well at first. We young black men went across town to the public pool, had a good swim, and things seemed to go well. But later that night when I drove back to campus, three Ku Klux Klansmen mugged me right there in the parking lot. So that was a fail, but it wasn't the end. Actually, what Bill did is he took some learnings that he acquired in Jamaica and other places, and he tried a little different tact. He started bringing together young, struggling blacks with older successful blacks right around his kitchen table so they could share ideas on how to bridge racial inequity. Bill, what were the skills that you learned in Jamaica and elsewhere? Well, for that, you'll have to order the book on Amazon. It's called Be the Bridge, available for only $10, $2.99 for the ebook. That is a reasonable price. Um, we are running out of time, and I do have just a few more questions. First, what are the other gaps that need to be bridged? Well, they're listed right here on the cover, closing the family relationship divide, social injustice, racial injustice, and also more than a few of my personal failings. But I told Patty Jo, tell the story, warts and all, and she included it in this narrative. And to clarify, what was the gold medal awarded for? Actually, the gold medal award was for leadership. So Bill, flip over the book. There you go. And this is Bill's leadership style. So flexibility, innovation, humility, and strength. That's the method Bill uses. We all could benefit from embracing those qualities. And once again, how do you win a gold medal? Well, you have to start by having the right story. That'd be Dr. Bill Greenwood. And you have to hire the right writer. And that would be Patty Jo Savelle. I wish you two the best and hope that each day more and more bridges are being built in our world. And now, back to our anchor.